What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Deadpool. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the top edge of the eyes. We leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then out towards the side. So then bend this up and then out. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Going up and then out. Let's curl up the inside of the brow. Starting on the left, then this in, and then up. Now I'm going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left side, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. Coming down towards the bottom of the eye, and pull that up towards the inside point. Let's add a crease in between the eyes, going up and then down. Now from here, I want to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. Starting from the outside left eye, step out, so we curve the head, coming down, and round up the chin, in towards the center, go across, and then bend that up towards the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the head. Starting out here, bend this out, go up, round up the head towards the center, go all the way across, down the right side, and we'll bend that in. Now we're going to add that trim around the eyes. Starting from the inside point of the brow, bend this up, and then out toward the left. Let's go to the right side and curve in the opposite direction, going up towards the same height. Let's go back to the inside of the eyes, curve this down, and then out. I'm going to go back up to the trim. I'm going to bend this out and then down towards the side of the eye. Right about here. And we'll bend that down and in towards the bottom of that line. Now I'm going to add a stitch line from each of these points. Let's start from the top. Bend this out and then up towards the top of the head. Come down to the bottom, bend this down, and then in towards the chin. Now let's move down and draw on the collar. We're going to start over on the left side, curve this down, across the bottom, and then back up. Now let's move out and draw the side of the body. From the collar, curve this out, and then bend that down towards the hip. Do the same thing on the right, coming down towards the same height. Now let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down and then back up. Let's add a circle in the center for the buckle, going all the way around and then back down. Now you want to add some detail inside that buckle. On the top, draw two straight angle lines coming down and in, round up the bottom and go back up. I'm going to fill the inside of the buckle. Let's add a strap going across the body. Starting from the top right, curve down and then out towards the left hip. And step up and draw that same curve going up underneath the collar. Let's add that panel on the side of the body. Starting over on the left, come down and in. Do the same thing on the right. Come straight down towards the bottom. Angle this up and back out. Let's add the top of the belt. From the side of that circle, cut this out and then up in behind the strap and go to the right side of the body. Now underneath this panel, draw a straight line coming down towards the belt. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top and add a shoulder strap. From the top of the body, step out, curve out, down, and then bend that in. Let's move back to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center, move over towards the left, curve the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down 
全然あっ Let's go back to the left side We're curve the top of the foot Going up I want to bend this down aiming towards the heel We'll leave a gap along the inside Now we're gonna go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. Bend the leg going out, and then bring that down on top of the foot. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We wanna take this curve, step up, and trace that across. From the top of the foot, we're gonna step up, curl the boot coming down, and then up on the inside. Line that up on the right. Now you want to add a couple straps going across the top of the leg. Let's start from the top left, bend this down and then in. Line this up on the right, going up. And then step down and just trace that same curve on the bottom of the strap. Now you go back up and add a pouch on the side of the hips. Let's start from the left, draw a straight line going out on both sides. Straight down, and we'll pull that back in towards the side of the leg. Let's add another pouch on the side. From the top of the strap, and it's up and out. Coming down the side of the leg, and then angle that down and back in. Now let's go back up and draw the arm stretched out holding two pistols. We're going to start from the top of that strap, then the arm coming down out towards the wrist. Now I'm going to go back to the left side. I'm going to curl around the thumb. Start by going up, bending this down, round up the thumb, and go back up. On the side of the thumb, we're going to draw an oval, going out and then back in. Let's tuck two more fingers underneath. Starting from the center along the bottom, curve this around, and tuck this up underneath the thumb, and then we'll do that one more time. Now I'm gonna place the pistols in behind the hand. Let's start from the top of the finger, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the end. Flatten off the end, going all the way up towards the top. Now I'm going to follow that same line, going up just above the thumb. And then we'll follow this line, going down in behind the thumb. Let's wrap the trigger around the top finger. I'm going to step out, going all the way around, and then back in. Let's go to the inside of the thumb, draw a straight angle line coming down below the fingers, go across the bottom, and just tuck that up underneath. Now I want to add some more detail to the pistols. From the top, step down, go out, down, and then in. From the inside corner along the top, step out, go up, stretches across, and then back down. And then from the bottom corner, step in, angle this up, go all the way towards the back. Let's go to the inside of the handle, curve the palm coming in, and then up. And step down, curl the arm coming in and up behind the strap. Now I'm add a strap going across the wrist. From the top, step out, curve around and then out. Step in, draw that again. And then from the side of the strap, we're gonna add a trim going up and out toward the top of the arms. Now with the body in place, we're going to cross two swords in behind the back. 
Let's start from the side of the cheek and up and out. We'll line this up on the right. Let's flatten off the end with a short line coming down and out. And then we'll follow this line coming down and in behind the arm. Now the sword is going to come down along the left side. Let's start underneath the arm and goes down and out on both sides. Just flatten off the end and pull that back up towards the side. Now we're going to add some texture across the top of the sword. From the top, step down, add a straight line, and leave a gap and just continue all the way down towards the arm. Do the same thing on the right. Let's finish off by signing our artwork and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon illustration of Deadpool. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.